Allow me to introduce myself. They call me the Dancing Clown. And you must be Georgie. Did you hear my circus was in town? It seems I have your boat here. The storm blew her off track. Just reach your hands down here and take it if you really want it back. Oh, Georgie, you can trust me, sweet child. Step right this way. I'll serve you with a smile. Believe me, there's nothing to fear. When I feast on your flesh, you'll see that we all float down. I'm not gonna scream. <laughs> anyway, so, if you haven't guessed, I was, um... I was really interested to see this trailer for IT Chapter 2. Probably, let's be real, this is the most uh, hyped horror movie of the year. Let's, yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Of all the horror films, and probably films in general, of 2019, IT Chapter 2 was probably one of the most anticipated. Um, I wouldn't say it's like at the level of like Endgame or King of the Monsters was, but in terms of like horror movies, this was definitely like at the top of the list for everybody. So it chapter two, uh, let's talk about that now. It chapter now the first it um, I liked, but the more I watch it, the more I'm like I see some problems here. And don't misunderstand me, I still like the movie. Um, I still like the the movie, but like the the more I watch it, the more I saw some flaws here and there. But at the same time, I'm like it's still good. I mean. Um, it's still, like, it. I wouldn't call it, like, the new age of horror. I wouldn't go that far. But it's definitely a good horror film. It's a well-acted horror film. Um, but I wouldn't go that far as, like, oh, it changed the genre. It's definitely, like, of the best of the, um, of the new Steve, you know, it really brought back the love for Stephen King movies. I haven't seen Pet Cemetery yet, so I can't comment on that yet. So I, if anyone's seen Pet Cemetery, the Pet Cemetery remake, uh, let me know in the comments below if it was good or not. I am um, of the Stephen King movies. I am really the one I'm most excited for um, are the remakes for the upcoming remakes for Salem's Lot and uh, Silver Bullet, which were actually my two favorite uh, King stories. Those are pretty much my favorite King stories. Um, I'm actually, like, really, really... I know I'm going into a tangent, but I don't care. Um, the, the remake I'm hoping for Salem's Lot, I am really, really hoping they get uh, Doug Jones to play Kurt Barlow, the vampire. I'm really hoping he, get, he plays Kurt Barlow in... Because Doug Jones would just be perfect. It would really harken back to... It'll be like... I know, I know in the book, Kurt Barlow was a different kind of vampire, but I was actually, like, thinking that'd be a neat little reference to the Toby Hooper uh, Salem's Lot film. Which is a miniseries, but people call it a film. It's still a good... I still like the Toby Hooper thing, but anyway, I'm getting off track. Anywho, also we need a remake to Maximum Overdrive. I know there was a Maximum Overdrive remake, but it was garbage. Can we just get a real one? Can we get another one? Can we get, like, a better one? But I'm, I'm going off track. I am going off track. I'm sorry. Let me get into this. So this film pretty much opens up with the uh, scene from the book where Beverly at her, you know, goes back to her old house and meets an old woman who turns out to be Pennywise. I liked it because it took me a moment to mentally register. I was like, oh, it's this scene. I was like, it took me a moment to mentally register for a quick moment to be like, oh, wait, shit, it, it's this thing, the scene. Right, right, my bad. Holy shit, I totally forgot it was, uh, it was this scene. I totally forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the, that was the cool moment. I really like how it's played out. It's not, it's actually, like, disturbing from the get-go. Um, although it will, I will say that it, it, um, like, it, it gets there. Like, it's not like with, um, with the 90s miniseries where it was like, you already know something's up. And here it takes a minute to be like, oh, okay, and you're, and you're ramping it up more and more. I'm kind of hoping we get, like, a trailer edit of someone, like, um, with Beverly running out of the house, and it cuts back to Tim Curry, Pennywise, and he's just like, ha, 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 beep, beep. <laughs> I'm really hoping someone does, like, an edit of that at some point in, in the future when this movie comes out on DVD, and just does, like, an edit of that scene of Beverly running out of the house, and then it cuts to the 90s movie with Tim Curry. I just... I don't know. I just weird my brain how my brain works. But no, we've got a pretty goddamn good cast. We got Bill Hader, um, uh, Jessica Chastain, and James um, James McAvoy. All great actors. We also got some. I'm forgetting the other. I know the actor playing 
I know the other actors, but I'm forgetting their names, but they're all, like, they're all credible actors in here. And that's what I like, when you bring in a horror, horror movie, and you give that horror movie credit when you put in named actors and known actors in the film. Um, it gives some more credibility. I wouldn't say, like, quality, but it does give, like, credibility. Um, I can't judge on quality, because we've had some great actors in some shitty horror movies. You guys remember that shitty, shitty, um... Uh, what was it? Um, oh, what was it? House on Haunted Hill. Remember that shitty remake of House on Haunted Hill, the one that had Famica Jansen and, uh, oh, what's his name? He played Barbosa. I'm forgetting his name, but yeah, that movie was garbage. Also, remember uh, the remake of The Haunting oh, with Owen Wilson? The only thing I like about that is watching Owen Wilson's head get ripped off by that uh, lion belfry motherfucking thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just because you have good actors in a film doesn't mean, oh, it's going to be a good movie. No, it just means, like, people are going to give, like, a little more of a shit about it. Um, also, it's nice to see James... Uh, I'm always happy to see James uh, McAvoy in anything. Like, I think he's a really underrated actor. I know everyone thinks, oh, he's Professor X. But, like, no, like, I think he's a really damn good actor. Everyone just seems to forget about that. Did anyone... Did everyone not watch Split? Because that really shows how good of an actor how excellent of an actor he could be. And everyone just forgot when Glass came around because, well, Gla Glass wasn't good. I'm sorry. But, yeah, it just was not a good finale to this trilogy that uh, suddenly came up. Anyway. <sighs> but I digress. It's it, The other thing that I find interesting about this film is that apparently, according to the director, that this is going to explain Pennywise's origin. And I'm like... He's a giant alien spider demon from another universe. There's nothing really to talk about. But in that scene where um, Beverly's looking around uh, the room, she sees a man who has, like, Pennywise's face in an image. And it says, like, my father, you know, this old woman saying, my father joined the circus and all that, and his name was Kirsch. And, yeah, I know some diehard King fans are going to go really ape shit about that. So, you know, I'm not that big of a Stephen King guy, guys. I, I, I don't know why, I just never got, I'm, you know, I could get into R.L. Stein, King not so much, I think, I don't know, maybe because, you know, I never understood why I could never get into a lot of King stuff, um, but I digress, so I'm kind of wondering, why do we need an origin to Pennywise, he's just a, cl the, the, he's not even a real clown, that's the thing, is that that's an, a form for a giant spider demon thing, so... Yeah, that was kind of the, uh, that was kind of, um, that was kind of the whole deal with him, was that that was a disguise. It wasn't a real thing, it was just a, uh, a facade for this godlike spider demon thing, so why do we need an origin to this thing? But anyway, so other than that, I'm just kind of like, hopefully they'll pull it off and not make it suck, but yeah. Hope, and hopefully Chapter 2 will live up to its, uh, you know, to its predecessor. Even though I have my misgivings, I still think It is still a solid horror movie. I still think it's a good horror movie. So hopefully It, it Chapter 2 can live up to the hype. Also, we don't need It Chapter 3. I know this. the trailer's been saying, oh, it's the final chapter to It. And, like, this is, like, you could say it's, it is the end. Huh? Huh? To all my Ink Ice Nine Kills fans, I hope you got that reference. But yeah, um, hopefully this can... We don't need an It trilogy. You know, two parts is enough. It's fine. No more, no less. I don't need a... Or an It universe. I don't need It to be suddenly part of the Conjuring universe. Like every other fucking horror movie. But anyway. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of, of It Chapter 2's first trailer? Do you guys like it? Hate it? Uh, comment below, let me know, and also, what are your thoughts on on Pennywise possibly getting an origin story? Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.